Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is preposterous. Preposterous. Uh, you know, just to think about as you're looking through, uh, pray you've been following along every day this week. And uh, this today, Second uh, Chronicles chapter 24, looking at this chapter. Yesterday, you know, we were looking at the way that uh, uh, Jehoiada had hid Joash and, and he says, look, this is the one, this is the one who was supposed to uh, be on the throne. And you see throughout the end of that chapter and through this chapter, you see what's going on. And then here at the end, you basically find out that Joash, uh, after Jehoiada uh, passes away, after old age, he passes away and Joash turns uh, against God. And, and and there's a key in there that you'll see right before the passage that we're going to do, the part of the passage we're going to deal with um, today. You'll see that it says that after he had died, that the people came in and he listened to them. So there's a problem when we began listening to others instead of listening to God and to the people of God. And, and that's what's really going on here is so he starts to do something wrong and then we find out that he gets a word from the Lord as well. But his reaction to that is uh, essentially, that's why I came up with the word today, is preposterous. To think that all that God had brought him through, right? And so Second Chronicles chapter 24, looking at verses 20 through 22, says, Then the Spirit of God came upon Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada, the priest, who stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God. Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord so that you cannot prosper? Because you have forsaken the Lord, he also has forsaken you. So they conspired against him. And at the command of the king, they stoned him with stones in the court of the house of the Lord. Thus Joash the king did not remember the kindness which Jehoiada his father had done to him, but killed his son. And as he died, he said, the Lord look on it and repay. Now I can only imagine uh, what kind of repayment, right? Would, would God pour out with this dying man's prayer that God would see it and repay it? And he, all he was doing, I, I love this, this great simple truth. He says, thus says God, thus saith the Lord. You know, God has given us all a message uh, of the gospel. And, and it's not for us to really, I mean, when you get down to it, it's, it's not for us to try to interpret it or to put our spin on it or to put our opinions on it. Yes, when we teach and preach and are trying to use, uh, you know, analogies uh, to, to maybe make it uh, relate to people in a way that maybe makes it easier to understand. But at the end of the day, we are simply saying, thus says the Lord. So when we witness to people, we're not saying, you know, it's not. I'm saying you're a sinner. It's God saying that we're all sinners. It's not me saying that you're going to die and go to hell. It, it's God saying that we're all going to die and go to hell if we don't accept the free gift of salvation. But with all of this, isn't it amazing? And, and, and as I say preposterous about Joash, and at the same time, I understand that I do the same thing. You do the same thing. God brings us through great victories and great moments in our lives. And, and, he, and he hides us and protects us as he did uh, Joash when he was young. And he, he puts him uh, right smack in the middle of his wheel, right where he's supposed to be. And then one little thing happens. You know, I mean, in this case, it was the, the passing of Jehoiada. And, and I think that was just a part of it. I think much more than that, it was that he just simply took his eyes off of God. And how quickly you and I can do the same thing. You know, I just I had this written down in my notes for, for today's video was just simply that he started well, but he didn't end well. He started well, but it didn't end well. And shouldn't that be the prayer that we all have, right? That no matter what God has, has where he's placed us and what he's given us to do, don't let it be said after we're long gone that, oh, that's preposterous to hear that, that, that Zach or, or such and such, that you, that you did something there at the end of your days that turned away from the Lord. We see this throughout scripture, that, that some start strong, but they don't finish well. Let it be our prayer today that no matter what we've done in the past, you know, we know that, that God sees and God forgives. He hears when we ask, uh, uh, we repent of our sins and we ask him to forgive us. And he says he will, and he'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
So let's put that in the past where it belongs and let's move ahead. But no matter how we started, let us all finish strong. God bless you and I pray you have a great, great day.